conflict, rock of ages, cleft from me. Rock of ages, cleft from me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from the river side which flowed be of sin the double cure. Cleanse me from its guilt and power. Not the liberates of my hands can fulfill thy law's demands. Could my zeal no respite know? Could my tears forever flow? All for sin could not atone. Thou must save and thou alone. Nothing in my hand I bring. Simply to thy cross I cling. Naked come to thee for dress. Helpless look to thee for grace. Foul I to the fountain fly. Wash me, Savior, or I die. While I draw this fleeting breath, where my heart lays close in death, when I soar to the world's unknown, see thee on thy judgment throne, rock of ages cut from me, let me hide myself in thee. to read a verse of scripture that will strengthen our faith to pray. In Isaiah chapter 65 verse 24 Isaiah chapter 65 verse 24 the word of God says and it shall come to pass that before the call I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Praise the Lord. Now we want to pray for the conservation of the converts. We want to pray that all the converts of the global crusade, the converts of Impact 2022, and converts of all other programs, the Lord will conserve them in their faith. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Pray the Lord is hearing according to his promise that they will not backslide. They will not go back to the world. They will abide in the Lord and the word of God will abide in them. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Now we want to pray for strength and grace for those who have been persecuted. Paul the Apostle tell us in Acts chapter 26 verse 22. Having therefore obtained the help of God, I continue unto this day. We want to pray that those who have been persecuted, as a result of their newfound faith, the Lord will strengthen them. The Lord will help them. The Lord will multiply his grace upon their lives to continue to the very end. Shall we lift up our voices to the Lord in prayer? Pray the Lord is hearing. Pray the Lord will answer. That they will endure whatever persecution is for a moment. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We want to pray for sustenance of open door of salvation to the world through this global crusade. The Lord has opened the door for us. We want to pray that that door will remain wide open. That any plan of the enemy to close this door for global revival, the Lord will crush it. Shall we lift up our voice to God in prayer? Remember we are connected all over the world, what a privilege to pray. Call upon the name of the Lord that the door of revival that is open through which souls come to the kingdom of God, that door will remain wide open. Pray that the Lord will give all righteous leaders who will reign in righteousness. Talk to God in prayer. When the leaders are righteous and they are ruling in righteousness, there will be progress. All around progress, there will be peace. Pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I hear you? Amen. We are going to pray at this time for global awakening, for righteousness. Global awakening, for righteousness. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that we will awake to righteousness and sin not as it is in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 34. The Bible says, awake to righteousness and sin not. Our leaders will awake to righteousness and sin not. Leaders at all levels awake to righteousness and sin not. Leaders in all nations of the world awake to righteousness. And sin not, lift up your voice to God in prayer. Call upon the name of the Lord. Take advantage. We are united globally as we are praying now. What a prayer! What a privilege! What an opportunity! Lift up your voice and join other saints all over the world to pray for global awakening for righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I hear a global amen? God bless you. Now we want to pray for this vision of the global crusade. Want to pray for the visioner, our Father in the Lord, the general superintendent of Deepak Christian Life Ministry, 
that the Lord will sustain him, that the Lord will strengthen him, that the Lord will empower him. And this glorious vision, the Lord will sustain it until it achieves its purpose to his fullness. Lift up your voice to the Lord in prayer. Sustenance of the visioner and of the vision for global crusade. Let's pray. Call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Now today being the last day of this wonderful crusade. First of February 2022. We want to pray that all that